Eugene, you guys, Daniel just said you guys wanted to play man defense when you guys got down nine. What, what, why did the players want to do that and what made it so successful? Uh, we we ran our zone pre, our zone defense the whole time, and us the guys kind of known as older guys we know how to like adjust to stuff. So we realized they're really attacking certain areas in the zone. So us as a collective just decided to go to our man to man defense because we felt like it was more effective. And coach just let us do us. James Krapia, the Oregonian. Gene, take me through two plays in the second half. Your tip in the backcourt where you broke free for the dunk. Just what, what makes you gamble in that moment and get that play? And secondly, the drive late where you contorted yourself in directions. I don't know how you did that um, to get that shot up. Take me through those two plays. Uh, just staying mentally focused and just knowing how to get to my spot. Uh, I knew they were cutting off driving lanes for the second shot. I knew they were cutting off driving lanes. So I was able to adjust myself and get around with the Euro step. And then for the for the steal, it was just defense. We, we know the reads. We knew uh, what they were looking at. And if we stopped something else, what they were looking at, and I just uh, executed the read and I just got the ball and I just finished it and kept the play playing, really. Kate Rogerson. Eugene, the bench tonight was on a whole new level. What does that do for you guys on the court? I'm not sure if you even really hear them if you're that locked in on the game, but how impactful is it to how you guys perform? We could definitely hear them. They were loud. Uh, they were really loud. It felt like we had fans there. So it really got us going and it allowed for us to lock back in and just knowing those guys are supporting us from the bench is that's a big thing for us. And it really helped us come back and just take over the game. Max Torres, Scoop Duck. Yeah, Eugene, Dana's kind of developed this reputation of getting his guys going by March. Here we are again, same thing happening. Uh, you've been here, you know, two years now. What, what's what's been the secret to all of it, in your opinion? He's definitely been the best coach I've had. Uh, just the way he reads the game and the way he maneuvers his way around the game and just teaches his, the guys what to do. Uh, I learned a lot of stuff from him sitting down last year and playing this year and uh, from past guys, too, that have gone through his, his system. So I, I've i kind of learned why they've been so, so successful at this time of the year. And... Uh, I'm just trying to follow the plan and keep it going, keep it rolling. Matt? If you didn't watch this game and you just looked at the box score, you might think Chandler Lawson didn't really have much of an impact. Um, yeah. can, you, can you explain what he did that, for fans to understand just without looking at the box score, why he was so effective? If Chandler Lawson is probably the reason we won this game with his, with his long arms. He probably got the longest arms in America, the longest arms on my team by far that I've played with. Uh, he really affected them on – the press on the press, so and that really got us going when he when he brought that energy. So it was key to have him tonight going hard like that. Chris Hansen, register guard. Yeah, Eugene, you know to be able to have this comeback in a game of this magnitude, the way you guys did, you know, where does this kind of rank in in big moments for this year for you and maybe in your career? Uh, this is this is a very big game. Uh, in college, I haven't really played for. The, the number one seed in the conference. So this is this is probably my biggest game college-wise because I do know what it is to become a champion. And I know that it's, you, they're going to have their runs and we're going to have our runs. And just us locking in really allowed for us to get this. And I'm just really happy. That's all I can say right now. I'm, really, I'm just excited. James. Eugene, after this stretch of seven games in 14 days, you're now atop the league. And there's one game to go. Just after all those minutes uh, of the last two weeks, just what is the feeling and, and how do you approach the next 72, 96 hours until Sunday? Honestly, I like it. I, le I really liked it, uh, having a game like every two days. It, it kept the mojo going. It, get, it kept guys fluid. It kept guys locked in. And I feel like it allowed us for us to just have the mindset to keep going hard every night. If it was in practice or coming out to the game, we always had that mindset to go hard. And I really enjoyed it. The mindset is just to keep going and to get to Oregon State and keep this keep – us, Keep us going. Max Torres scooped up. Eugene, what's really caught my eye about your game of late has just been the defense, you know, whether it's getting steals and starting transition or meeting someone at the rim. What's been going into your mentality on the defensive end? I'm a, I pride myself. Before anything, I pride myself on defense. Uh, that's been my – you can bring defense every game, and that's one thing I've done since my freshman year. I love playing defense. Uh, 
the thing about it, the offense will come, but the defense is what's always there with you. So, and that's what I focus on when it comes to games, especially games of this magnitude. Just being able to take charges, stealing the ball, blocking shots. Anything I could do, the little things that people won't really do, I'll do it just to get my team going. Patrick McMahon, KWVA Sports. Eugene, you guys shot uh, really well in the first half, 53.6%, and you somehow up that to an insane 69.6%. What allowed you guys to have such success on offense against a good team like UCLA? Uh, just us being seniors and just getting the younger guys and talking as a group with coach in the locker room. We've been through games like this before, just – is that there's highs and lows of games. So just knowing that the game's not over, you got to come on and still compete. Even when they went up nine, we knew we still got to compete. As, us as the older guys, we were able to lock in and bring the other guys in and get the bench going. And it really just helped us come out with a win tonight. James. Eugene, you mentioned the taking of charges. I, I heard a stat earlier in the season, and I'm sure it's also true this year, but they mentioned that back at Rutgers that before you transferred that you were like, one of the top five or something in the country and, and drawn charges at the time. Yeah. Somebody took pride in that sort of thing. And I'm sure you're up there this season too, but I don't have that set. Do you track that? Like, are you conscious of the fact that you do like I'm somebody who actually takes pride in doing such a thing all the time? I take complete pride. A lot of people don't want to take charges. I feel like that's a specialty in my game that people don't really understand. Uh, just being able to just lay your body in the line and just for anything for your team, it shows pride and dedication and lets the other guys know that you're all in with them. So that's a big thing for me. And, uh, I don't really take stats on that, but I just I just come out and play and just focus on winning and just do anything I can that can help my team win. All right, G Eugene, we appreciate your time. Congrats on the win. Good luck on Sunday. All right. Thank you. <laughs>